the place to be Saturday will be at right here in Louisville, Kentucky. Churchill Downs Saturday evening for a big card of graded stakes racing led by the Stephen Foster, the grade one Stephen Foster. Lots of good horses have won it in the past. Matt, we're looking at a division right now that's still a little bit ripe for the taking. Not a lot of great older mares, uh, males out there. West Coast hasn't won yet this year. Accelerate looks good, but we've seen him lose a lot of races in the past few years. Maybe Backyard Heaven, the uh, the Ramsey uh, Chad Brown horse, can step up and and put his name in the ring as, as perhaps the best older dirt male in the country. Yeah, this certainly isn't the kind of Stephen Foster that we've seen in the past where uh, uh, winners of that race have gone on to uh, take the Breeders' Cup Classic. Uh, there's no gun runner in here. There's no blame in here. There's no Kerwin or Fort Lorner. And as a matter of fact, in the, in the likely field, the, the none of the horses have even won a grade one race yet. So this is this is uh, one of them is going to get their first big victory at that level. Um Irish war cry coming off his uh, win in the on the sloppy track on uh, Preakness weekend um, is looking to put uh, two big races together, which is something that he hasn't done in his career very often. Going back to when he won the Wood Memorial and the Holy Bull on the Derby Trail as a three-year-old, um, looking at Lee, who we all remember from the Derby Trail and finishing second in the Kentucky Derby, um, came back and won an allowance race uh, closer to the lead, running right with the leaders um, in a way that we had never been seen seen before. Is he going to run that kind of style again? And, and could that be the key to uh, looking at Lee breaking out um, in the Stephen Foster? I don't know. Interesting um in there yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna say no as my prediction to that last uh, statement looking at lee is a nice enough horse uh but no that was a extremely slow pace on derby day and uh, frankly matt uh, as i look at the stephen foster uh you know i i've come to a point here where i think if any other horse but uh, backyard heaven or irish war cry wins their race this will be a race that really means little in the grand scheme of things be a nice win for whoever wins it but looking at the division looking at the year looking at the breeders cup classic at the same track uh several months later this one won't mean a lot however irish war cry if he does put it all together he's got that type of strong early uh, early speed good looking talented horse for grand motion he's just thrown in some real clunkers uh, i can think of three or four races where he just didn't show up but his pimlico special was big if he is, in fact, putting things together, I think he's a very interesting horse moving forward. This will be a good test for him. And Backyard Heaven, we really don't know how good he looks because I'll tell you what, his Ali Sheba was among the most impressive races of the last month or two. Only four lifetime races. He came out last fall as a, as a real late debuter uh, uh, in the fall of his three-year-old season. Ran second that day at Belmont Park, but then uh, two uh, good-looking wins at Aqueduct and now the Ali Sheba. Backyard heaven, I, I wouldn't be surprised at all. A couple months from now, we're calling him the best older male in the country. Right, and of course, that Ali Shiva was right there on Churchill Down, so we know that that horse likes uh, likes the track there. Yeah, son of Tiz, uh, Tiz Way, for, uh, again, for Chad Brown. Lots of great stakes, as we talked about. Uh, uh, I think the biggest news outside of the Foster on Saturday, Matt, will be the return of world approval. Uh, we lost his uh, really, really, really good value sire, Northern of Fleet, uh, recently. Uh, but world approval, you know, other than his last race, has sure looked like a legitimate best turf force in America. This year, after a championship season last year, he won his first start at Turfway. But then the Francis Kilroy Mile, grade one out west, he really didn't, uh, didn't fire. So it'll be interesting to see world approval if he can bounce back and get back to his best racing the six-year-old Geldy. yeah and i assume you'll be there uh on saturday night brian absolutely i'll be there uh meeting friends meeting uh possible derby day racing partners so i'm looking forward to a great night at churchill downs on saturday led by the stephen foster